All right. I'm gonna have Adam give you a little rundown on what's been going on with Andy C10 here. So, uh, everyone, this is Adam. Hello. So, Andy C10, we crisped up all the gaps the best we could. Made everything fit really nice. You know, these trucks aren't the best when it comes to fitment in the factory. So where we got it now is, you know, it's, it's pretty good for what it's supposed to be. So it's on a chopping block chassis. Uh, it's a nine inch rear. It has a six liter LS with a Whipple supercharger. Um, it should be pretty fun. Uh, Adam redid these inner fender wells. And the front piece here is not on right now, but there's also like a little sight shield that goes here. Um, you know, kind of wanted the engine compartment to sort of have like a kind of a cool shape to it and just sort of have, you know, like a simple, clean engine with nothing around it. Um, but yeah, Adam, if you want to get into kind of what you did. Oh yeah, we just made these uh, with a bead roller to make these patterns to kind of match what was already here on these pieces. Uh, Use a simple shrinker stretcher to get the form around the wheel. Um, and with a 22 inch wheel, an air ride on these trucks, you don't have a lot of room. So this is uh, very tight tolerances to get everything to fit underneath the hood and not the kit. Yeah, right. So like this inner fender is like almost touches the top of the hood. And then with it aired out where it's at right now, the top of the tire is this close to the top of the inner fender. Not that it ever drives this low, we just don't want to have to have any issues with rubbing, um, you know, if it's parked on an uneven surface or something like that. So, yeah, right now we have it in polyester primer and just finishing up, crisping up all the body work and getting it prepped for final primer and paint. Sweet. And Andy will be doing burnouts before you know it. First, uh, first crank with fuel to it. Oh, fired right up. That wasn't John yelling. <laughs>
though Jack has been doing a bunch of metal work here, this whole front section was all rotten. So, uh, you know, this basically this corner and this whole piece is... Uh, well, well, this the, corner, there were some pieces in here on the inside support that I changed out. Of course, we're trying to keep it small um, so it doesn't snowball on us. But this is two different pieces. Shrinker stretcher, I joined them right here in the center. The brake is nice because it keeps the heat out of the roof. Makes it easier to do body work. But, you know, if it's, the way this is shaped, you can't get a dolly behind here to stretch your welds back out. So you got to minimize the distortion as much as you can. Well, I already stripped the body kind of roughly, but then I went, I'm going over after I did all my work because, you know, the steel will flash, flash rust after, you know, a certain amount of time. So I'm just prepping everything and getting it all clean, ready for some direct metal primer. All right. work. Thanks, Jack. It wasn't really welded in the right spot. It's actually welded up higher than it's supposed to be. I actually had to clearance this hole enough so I could put the screw in here. But what that's doing to me is where the striker is supposed to be mounted to in the factory location, I can't get it up high enough for this catch to, to hit where it's supposed to. So what I'm gonna have to do is drill this cage out, take the plate out to modify it, which that'll get me where the striker needs to be rather than modifying the tailgate, which would be a lot more work. See that it's, it, it's not the cable right here isn't tight because this piece isn't welded in the right spot. What I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to grind these welds out, drill them out, take the plate back off, enlarge the hole a little bit, move it to where it's gotta be, re plug this plate back on and tighten up this cable. If you leave it like this, the gate isn't properly supported, and if you go and hop up on the back of it, you're gonna bend the gate. All right, so the door on this Bronco here um, had some issues. So I'm gonna let Jack kind of give you the rundown of what needed to be done. So this is the driver's side door on the 79 Bronco. It's an original door, um, got it off of a Craigslist ad. It ended up being a pretty rust-free door. Um, it had a lot of dents in it though. There's some here, some around the bottom. It had really bad work done to this piece up here. Looks like somebody tried to put holes for the mirror in the wrong spot. And when they welded it, they warped it and they stretched the metal in, uh, in trying to repair it. Uh, I tried my best to repair it as is, um, which it just, it just ended up being too overworked and thinned out. So I made this piece from scratch which is nice because it matches the crown. It goes this way as well as a little bit of a reverse curve right here. Had some nice rounded corners. 
along the edge to minimize the distortion. A little bit of a gap, because you want a little bit of that gap that way. When you weld, um, you don't have the panels overlapping each other, because when you weld, it shrinks. So I'm gonna weld, I'm gonna start tacking this up and weld it together and metal finish from there. original gate has trim and these emblems here, which the aftermarket gate um, doesn't come with those holes. So I made this paper template that fits, lines up with the body lines. So you can see exactly where the emblem needs to go. And now I can transition. Look out! <laughs> which is then I just line it up with the body lines, taped it on there, marked my holes, and now I can drill it out and I have an accurate way to get these emblems to go where they need to go. Cool, and they, they just have little studs on the back yeah, that- Yeah, just little barrel nuts. You can see the clips on them. They just put the barrel nuts in and you just slide right in. So I have no real great way to end this video. I didn't really have any good way to start this video, but uh, regardless, this is the stuff that happens here every day. Um, I'm gonna film what I can, and if it's entertaining, I hope you like it. Um, you know, ideally I wanted to like have some video where there's gonna be like start to finish type stuff, but the reality is the stuff takes so long that we do, it's just gonna be this ongoing thing. So um, some of the stuff is already right near completion, like the Mustang, and some of the cars are just coming in. So. I hope you enjoy it. Hit the subscribe button. Have a good one.